afternoon, everybody. It is uh, day 49, Church in the Time of Quarantine. If you want to do math and divide that by seven, we're at seven weeks of this. Um, so anyway, hope you're hanging in there. Um, miss seeing you guys, and, and I really hope everything is, is, is going as well as it can. But hope we will uh, be together soon. But uh, it's also May 4th um, on this day in 1929. Audrey Hepburn was born, so happy birthday, Audrey. And... Um, Two other interesting historical things. In 1626, the island of Manhattan was purchased for $26. And uh, in 1715, uh, the uh, folding umbrella debuted in France. So that, uh, that little modern invention goes back to 1715. So uh, good job on inventing the umbrella, you French people. Okay, well, we talked about we're seven weeks into this. Um, I've had some questions on when we're reopening and all that. Um, and my answer is kind of always been the same. Of I don't know, and today I still don't know. Um, it will depend on the bishop telling us when we can do it. Um, that's, yeah, where it stands. Uh, we, as a vestry, are starting to have talks about, um, you know, what it's going to look like, to how many services we have, how many people can be in a service, all those sorts of things. So we want to be ready um, as soon as we get the, uh, the green light on that. But uh, right now, uh, you know as much as I do. So, uh, but if you have any ideas about reopening, if we should have a party, fire me out of a cannon. I don't know what we should do, but um, we're we're starting to think through it. And um, yeah, I'll just kind of let you know, uh, let you know everything I know. Uh, talking about cancellations, uh, obviously our our Tuesday uh, lecture series, the two two two, is canceled this month. I talked to the guy who was supposed to be uh, coming. He's a professor at Carroll College. Um, written some interesting stuff on kind of um, history of belief in Christianity. Um, anyway, he said he can come in September, um, so we've got him rescheduled. So we'll just uh, kind of figure out our schedule um, going forward on that. But um, yeah, so anyway, okay, that brings us to trivia. Uh, yesterday we had uh, we had two right answers. Uh, Lee Nelson and uh, Matthew Bloss both got Hawaii. And that was the question was uh, what state has a royal palace and had a king and queen, you know, a real king and queen that were in the royal palace and who ruled, and that was Hawaii, last uh, being King Kamehameha and Emma, I think were the last two. They were Episcopalian, uh, so good for them. Uh, today's trivia question: uh, I realize we haven't done we have not done any Bible trivia, and uh, I know that's not Episcopalian strong suit, but. Uh, I'll try to start off with a with a relatively easy one. So in the Annunciation, the angel came to Mary in Luke's Gospel, said, Hail Mary, full of grace, all that stuff. You shall bear a son and name him Jesus. What is the name of that angel that came to Mary in Luke's Gospel to make the Annunciation? If you know that, send it in, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully get off to a strong start with Bible trivia. Well, today for a reflection... Um, I wanted to, we haven't done a saint in a while, and we have, we have a pretty interesting one today. Um, and why I say that is because I think often when you, um, at least I can kind of get intimidated when you read about some of these saints' lives. There were a few weeks back, I don't know how many weeks, we had Innocent of Alaska, and you know, he's the guy that uh, went out to the Aleutian Islands, and then he would paddle his canoe between the Aleutian Islands, and then he learned like seven native Aleutian dialect or languages and translated the Bible into those. And, you know, I mean, all these sorts of things. And um, you can kind of think, well, I, I'm never going to pull anything like that off. But the same we have today, um, St. Monica, uh, she more than just a peer, um, she, uh, she wasn't, um, she, she basically did what she could do in the life she was given. Um, she's most famous uh, for being, uh, the mother of St. Augustine. So you probably wonder why being the mother of St. Augustine gets you sainthood. Well, St. Augustine was, uh, in my humble opinion, the greatest theologian uh, the Christian church has produced. But um, more than that, um, I, I think she, the, a little bit of the background, uh, she, she was from Algeria, roughly. Excuse me. And um, was married to a Roman uh, pagan who kind of tolerated her being Christian, but really didn't want the kids to be Christian. So uh, she tried and tried. And one day, Augustine, when he was a kid, got sick. And so she convinced her husband that he could be baptized. But then he got better before the priest got there. And so he didn't get baptized. 
So uh, her whole life, she was really praying um, for her husband, for her children, for everyone um, to become Christian. Augustine goes off to college. He comes back. He's become a Manichaean, um, which was a religion prevalent uh, roughly third of the seventh century. It's kind of, it's a dualistic religion, which is, you know, kind of the force, Star Wars kind of thing. You have the good side and the bad side, um, light side and dark side, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Monica's not very happy about that. She keeps praying and praying. Uh, she at one point goes to a bishop, just, you know, what, what, what can I do about my, my, my son? And the bishop famously said, the child of those tears shall never perish. So Augustine sneaks off, goes to Rome. Um, she finds out about it. She follows him to Rome. But by the time she gets there, he's gone on to Milan. Uh, in Milan, he meets Ambrose of Milan, um, who is bishop. And uh, Ambrose converts Augustine to be Christian. And so Monica uh, rejoices and actually dies uh, shortly, uh, not too long thereafter. But uh, her life's work was really about seeing those that she knew and loved um, become Christian. So it's uh, just a good reminder, I think, for all of us to, to do what we can do where we are. Um, you know, we're not, as far as I know, none of us are going to paddle canoes around the Aleutian Islands, but we can pray and and um, ask for, for the best uh, for those we know and love, and that's uh, Monica. So if you want her dates, I don't know if I gave those, 332 to 387 uh, was Monica's life. So today um, we've got, uh, I'll end with the, uh, the prayer for St. Monica. Let us pray. O Lord, through spiritual discipline, you strengthen your servant Monica to persevere in offering her love and prayers and tears for the conversion of her husband and of Augustine, their son. Deepen our devotion, we pray, and use us in accordance with your will to bring others, even our own kindred, to acknowledge Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. All right, we'll talk to you all tomorrow.